Hello again. Welcome to our daily reflections at Covenant Presbyterian. Thank you for joining us today. We begin with a verse from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 3. Here it is. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Now one might have thought that the coming of the Lamb of God would lead to widespread rejoicing. Well, actually it did. Angels sang at his birth, the heavens rejoiced at the coming of the Son of Man. When old Simeon saw the child, he took him in his arms and he praised God. Anna, the prophetess, gave thanks when she saw the infant Jesus and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. But there were others who were threatened by his coming. Instead of bowing down in worship before him, they laid back their heads and laughed at him. He was not among the cultured elite. He had not been born into privilege or power. There were questions regarding his birth. His father was only a carpenter, and he came from Nazareth. Everyone knew that nothing good came out of Nazareth. And so they mocked him. The soldiers laughed at Jesus as they dressed him in a scarlet robe and placed a staff of office in his hand. They called him King of the Jews, and they bullied him like spoiled children in a sandpit. As they had their fun, heaven glowered, but did nothing but wait. Even on the cross, a fellow sufferer sought to relieve his own pain by taunting Jesus. Passers-by shouted at him, So you would destroy the temple and build it in three days. Come down from the cross and save yourself. Even the chief priests and the teachers of the law couldn't contain their mirth. He saved others, they said, but he cannot save himself. Let this Christ, this King of Israel, come down now from the cross, that we may see and believe. When he came to earth, Christ the Lamb of God was despised and rejected. He was despised and rejected by those who were ignorant of his purpose and of God's claim upon their lives. He was despised and rejected by those who were threatened by the enormity of his love and by the implications of his coming. He was despised and rejected by those who believed that they had no need of a saviour. How easy it would have been for Jesus to have responded to their rejection with anger of his own, to have thrown up his hands in frustration and to have said, Enough! You will get what you deserve. But he didn't, did he? Instead, he lifted high his hands upon the cross and took what he did not deserve for us. Remember that, will you, as this week unfolds? Now I invite you to pray with me. Suffering, Lord, a superficial, cynical world mocks you still. Your passion is still a source of schoolyard humour and sophisticated, yet crass contempt. The godless revile you, they despise your salvation, and by their cruel laughter they crucify you yet again. We grieve for you. Have we played a part in your suffering, O Lord?